this is from Venom Vlog. Nicely done, Venom Vlog. We are Venom! We are Venom! Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. This is episode 200. And 82 and actually we're just going to talk real briefly about something today uh, since it was kind of a personal thing I had kind of like a little bit of a venom day which is kind of nice because tomorrow at Golden Apple they're actually doing venom day on Saturday September 29th and Golden Apple teamed up with Sony and they're doing like an, a big event there and they're gonna have like giveaways posters t-shirts and stuff like that of the movie and I'm so bummed so bummed I can't go to it uh, obviously my uh, my job needs me it's a very busy day tomorrow on Saturday and uh, and now I'm kind of it's weird because the person between me and my supervisor, like I'm a supervisor and team leader, but there's like a person above me and then my boss is above that. Well, that person between us is kind of gone for the next three, four months, um, you know, and so it, now it's just me and my boss and it's kind of like a new role for me and it's a lot of new responsibilities and so I'm kind of like have to be, even though I was very dependent, uh, dependent on before with, uh, you know, always showing up, trying to always be in on time, never calling out unless I absolutely just don't feel safe driving. That's pretty much my one rule. If I don't feel safe driving to work, I, I call out. Uh, but otherwise, I go in. Whether I have a headache or I feel like I'm going to throw up, no matter what I do, I, I just try to tough through it uh, because I need the money pretty much. Uh, so tomorrow, I absolutely cannot miss tomorrow at work, um, which is a bummer for me for being a Venom fan. But, you know, I'm a grown-up. You know, I'll live, I'm sure. So uh, so Golden Apple, they're doing a lot of cool stuff tomorrow. So I couldn't go to that. So today I decided to treat myself to uh, an actual T-shirt. Since I couldn't, you know, go to the event tomorrow and win one, I actually went to Spencer's and I got this. And I saw our friend Reese. He had, like, this cool, and I'll try to put the picture up here. Uh, he had this cool, or this picture's from me, though. But I but I saw Reese post these. These are these scratch-off tickets. So if you go to Spencer's, they're doing a promotion for the Venom movie where they have these scratch-off tickets and you scratch off the eye of Venom and underneath it you'll see it like a promotional thing like 10% off, you know, $5 off the ticket of the movie, whatever. And so uh, so that was like this, something that was running in there. So when I went in, the lady gave me one. I scratched it off. It was 10% off any item in the store um, as long as one single item. So I did. I picked up this glow-in-the-dark Venom shirt and I figured I would wear it. Even though I have a really cool Venom shirt for my mom that I wear on the uh, day I go to the movie. But then when I go see it the second time, I'll probably rock this with the glow-in-the-dark eyes. So that was pretty cool. It was like $20 shirt. So I was like, all right, good. I got myself a shirt today. I feel good. I feel very, you know, in tune with the symbiote today. Um, and then, you know, I uh, also was checking my Twitter account and I saw that uh, that that special that they were doing. Like if you tweeted at Eddie Brock or the Venom movie on Twitter, they would hit you back with a offer for, you know, like some kind of ticket offer. I thought it was going to be something to do with MoviePass because since they work, you know, working with AMC, I thought maybe they would release like a Venom, like a black card and they would be like, all right, so normally if you just sign up for MoviePass, you can't, you know, see current movies. But maybe I thought Sony was going to do something where it was like, all right, you can see Venom. Can't see any other, any other current movies, but you can at least see ours. You can use your movie pass on ours, and it's like a cool black card. That was where my mind was going from a marketing standpoint, but that turned out not to be the case. What it is, it's just a link you can go to, and if you're like an Amazon uh, Prime member or customer, um, frequent customer, you can get $5 off your movie ticket at select theaters. So if you're out there and you're trying to save money and you want to go see Venom, you can save 5 bucks for, uh, for doing that. So I'll try to put a link to that down below as well. Uh, and then so after that happened, I was just knee deep in work and right when I got out of work, I was going to my car and I was like, all right, I got to drop this car full of stuff over to my uh, new apartment. Uh, right at that moment, Reese, actually, our friend again, he wrote me and said, hey, on Twitter, he was like, dude, Patton Oswalt just read your question. Because over the past couple days, the cast of the movie and the and the director, Ruben Fleischer, and some of the producers, they've been going around doing press stuff, and they've been going around doing interviews, and uh, they were given people on social media a chance to ask questions. And they would say, hey, send us your questions, comment down below, and maybe we'll read one of them. And of course, the odds are very slim that anything will be read, but I still did it. I On Instagram and on uh, Twitter, I did. I don't have Facebook anymore. So today they did a Facebook Q&A with Pat Oswalt, who hosted it, after seeing the Venom movie himself. And so he was like, all right, I'm prepared. I know what the movie's about, and so I'm going to ask him some questions. So he starts off asking him some questions, and then he goes and says, hey, I got you know questions from the audience, from Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, sure enough, he read my question that I had from Michelle Williams, who's playing Anne Weying in the movie. And I was just kind of curious because there was a clip that was released where Anne kind of admits 
feelings for Eddie and says, you know, I don't want you to repeat what happened. And by the way, there's some, a little bit of spoilers here. So if you haven't seen that clip, you know, I would say turn away now. This was a clip we didn't talk about in the last episode. I was saving it for this one. Uh, so there's minor spoilers here. But she does mention that he was, you know, kind of run out of New York City. That he had a job at the Daily Globe, which is from the comic books, and he got a story wrong and the town pretty much pushed him away. And he tries to play it off and says, no, I didn't get pushed away. I ran to you. Like, I, you're the love of my life. And so I, I came here to San Francisco to be with you. And, uh, and so screw New York. You know, I can go back there anytime I want. He's trying to play it off, obviously, and, you know, look like tough and cool and everything. Um, so I kind of like that scene, but I like that they mentioned all that history, like really briefly, that was very true to the comic books. And so uh, I said, you know, what? what is it about Anne that kind of, you know, connects her to Eddie? Why, what does she love about him? What traits does he have or what feeling does she get around him that makes her, like, you know, connect with him in that way and why she just can't let go of him why she loves him so much and so uh you know I, I guess i won't even answer what she said i'll just show you the clip so here you go my one question interview with michelle williams via you know pat Oswalt. um now michelle uh this is from venom vlog nicely done venom vlog um this is for you Anne seems to really care for eddie what is the quality in eddie that you think attracts uh and the most and then what do you think is about eddie that that bothers her the most that she's so conflicted about, like what are those two things? It's clearly, there's a war going on. Well, I think that it's, I think that they love each other and I think that love is inexplicable. I don't think it's really a series of qualities. So I don't think that she loves him for a list. I think that she loves him because her heart compels her, but her mind overrides that and says, that's true, but, um, but I also can't condone this kind of behavior. And I, as she says in the movie, like, I love you, but I love myself more. Um, so she puts her, her, she prioritizes herself above the relationship. But that's the push and pull, because I don't think that she ever stops loving him. Yeah, and there's a very, again, a, a, something I can't get away, there's a very crucial scene where you truly show how far you are willing to go, to go for, for him. him. Yes, exactly, which I won't spoil, but it's, it's, it's kind of, it's great, but it's also kind of shocking when you realize what she's done to... It's got to be love. Yeah, I mean, you don't well, do that for somebody you like. Right. When you see what she does, you're like, oh, well, she loves him. Good Lord. Um. So, yeah, obviously seeing that was awesome. It was really, really awesome. And then also Patton Oswalt had uh, this little comment, which I'm going to try to add in front of some of our videos, but I'll just play that real quick. Uh, this is from Venom Vlog. Nicely done, Venom Vlog. And just that kind of made my day. He's like, Venom Vlog nicely done there <laughs> you know it's like oh thank you thank you i'm totally going to use that clip hopefully that's cool with them uh for me to use it in like some of our videos every now and again uh but yeah i thought that was pretty awesome uh so i am a fan of Pat Patton oswald uh his comedy for years um and the uh the, the work his you know wife did looking for that killer uh there was a there's a lot of stuff about that guy i've always been kind of drawn to but i've always loved that he's been a big nerd and i just feel like uh, as comics go it was neat to hear him sometimes make jokes about comic book superheroes that i could get and i was like all right this joke is just for me you know even though there's a few other people in the audience that would laugh i was always like yeah that's that's kind of for me um but yeah so uh anyway it was that was cool it really made my day and it really got me pumped and then now i really kind of like all right well i can't go to venom day tomorrow at golden apple but hey look at all the cool stuff that happened to me today and that felt really really good and uh and just awesome it was just cool like to hear them mention venom vlog and then he said hey way to go and then tom hardy kind of had like this little like hmm you know, and I was like, ah, oh, please tell me you guys have seen at least one of the episodes. Like, just know that I'm out here, like, uh, you know, just trying to, you know, rally people together, find other Venom fans and unite them all, you know, and under one channel. Uh, and, you know, a lot of us who are just really passionate about the character and really interested and excited for this movie. Uh, you know, I know there's a sea of people out there that are, are against this movie and they're going to do whatever they can to spread, you know, bull crap about it or whatever. But it, it doesn't matter. Don't let it bother you. Let them do it. You know, the best way to, uh, you know, get rid of bullies or, or trolls is to ignore them if you start giving them their the voice and power and share their you know share their tweets that bum you out if you start doing that and spreading it um then you're just doing what they want you to do and so for me i'm just like who cares like if they don't like it they don't like it they, i don't even care if they have a good reason or not it doesn't matter the movie's not for them it's for us so we should just enjoy it so having all this happen today was really awesome and really exciting and uh and so yeah i'm kind of on a symbiote cloud nine right now as i said on twitter um so all this information we went over today let me know what you guys think in the next episode we're going to talk about some of those early rumblings i know the embargo hasn't been lifted yet but we're going to still talk about some of the little things that have gotten out there it's not spoiler wise but just general impressions of the movie we're going to kind of talk about in the next episode so make sure you tune into that thanks so much for watching my show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and let me know all your comments down below and we'll continue the conversation down there 
Thanks again. Have a good one. Peace.